Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I've been sharing with you how I've been collecting some items for my gingerbread theme layout for my coffee bar station slash my hot cocoa bar. And I bought the cutest Dollar Tree mug that has the gingerbread theme. However, I wanted to do like the full whipped cream on top and I wanted to try using some of the Dollar Tree products. So I went to Dollar Tree and I looked for spackling, but they didn't have it, so I'm using, um, what is it called, caulking to do this. However, you can definitely buy spackling at your home hardware store and it's not super expensive. So that's another option as well. But I wanted to give you an option with Dollar Tree materials. You know how that goes. But I wanted to also let you know that I went on Skillshare to look at like sculpting ideas because you can use model modeling clay as well. And if you haven't heard of Skillshare, they're an online community for creators like you that offer classes from design, business to creativity. I've taken Taken some videography classes on there some hand lettering and now I just I was just watching some clay modeling they have sculpting but she was teaching me actually how to whip the modeling clay into a whipped cream however again I was trying to use something from the Dollar Tree that had more substance because the clay it looked like it was quite hard work but nonetheless I might be interested in making mini cupcakes so that might come up on another on another day but yeah, just wanted to let you know that Skillshare is offering you two free months if you follow the description down below. There's a link that will provide you with a premium access, so that will give you unlimited access to all of their online tools, communities, and any of the courses that you would like to join that would benefit you. So I definitely recommend ch checking out Skillshare. I do want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video today, and I hope you guys enjoy the process of making faux whipped cream for a decoration in possibly maybe your little coffee station area or the Ray Dunn mugs would look really cute too if you have something to fill it up with whipped cream on top. If you'd like, feel free to send me some pictures and tag me on Instagram or my Facebook uh, page because I love seeing what you guys are doing out there as well. So until next time everyone, enjoy the process. This DIY is a little bit different for me. There were some learning curves and I thought, you know what, I'm going to leave them in the video and I'm going to share with you what worked and what didn't work. So I'm taking a cardboard box from an old parcel. You can also use a cereal box. Flip your mug with its opening down and then just trace it out onto that surface. So this will allow you to know how much you need to pipe out onto your surface. And then take some wax paper from the Dollar Tree and cover it the area just to make it easier to either peel back your spackling or the caulking that we're using from the Dollar Tree. So at this point I, you'll see that I'm, I'm trying to squeeze out the caulking from the tip. It's a little bit tricky so what you may want to do is just cut off the top. You're going to need the whole bottle anyways so just squeeze it all out. The next tip is do not add shaving cream. I thought I could do a little experiment like when we play with slime in the kitchen do not add shaving cream it does make it a lot runnier it flattens out your caulking after you squeeze it out to make that full whipped cream so I highly recommend don't do what I've done here just use the caulking for the mold and then I added some glitter from the Dollar Tree and it does come through in real life it doesn't show on camera here so if you want to add glitter you may as well and then I'm just taking the little tips from the Dollar Tree. These come with the cake decorating tools. So I'm just using the little tip. I think it's the leaf tip. I'm cutting off a teeny tiny corner of a Ziploc bag and I am going to use this as my piping bag. So what I'm going to do is just kind of roll down the Ziploc bag to make it a little bit easier to put the caulking concoction <laughs> right into the piping bag and then I'll just share with you how you kind of start squeezing it out. So I realize here that the camera angle isn't the greatest and I should have filmed from the side but you want to pipe out right into the center a nice little mountain of caulking and then you want to start working your way around that little mountain and then you're going to work around it and around it and then you're going to come right back into the center again just rotating around and around until you get to like a little bit of a mountain top so the angle is terrible because it just looks completely flat but i hope it kind of 
is a little bit clear here and if you want to add more on the top you can again the shaving foam definitely flatten this out and you don't want that happening for the next part i just add a, a little bit of white those little white sprinkle trees they're just actually cupcake decorations and then i added some red pink real sprinkles however i don't recommend this because with the foaming cream or the caulking i'm not sure it kind of melted them in it made it look more realistic in the end however you can skip this step and just add which is what i prefer are the little beads little seed beads that you can buy at the dollar tree neck necklace beads pearls anything really even sequins is what i've added here and then i'm going to add a little straw from the dollar tree as well here and I just picked this one because it matched my decor. So I'm using sequins, like just the little white one, little white ones here, and you can see them sparkle. Well, they're a little iridescent, but and then I'm making a mini tiny little top or two. So I thought it'd look cute on my mini cupcake stand. And here are the sprinkles, they held up really well and didn't melt into the caulking. So I'm not sure what happened here and how it reacted with the bigger one, but it totally stayed uh, really well and didn't dissolve or melt so now what you want to do is after it's dried for a good 24 hours you can peel it back off of the wax paper if the wax paper rips off it's no big deal it's just going on top of the mug if it's a little bit too big like mine it flattened out and spread to the side it's easy to just cut so take some a nice pair of sharp scissors cut around until the mold is the right size and also cut back your straw so that it looks like it's in the cup or mug I should say and that is my finished little station here set up I hope you guys enjoyed the process I look forward to seeing what you guys are making I'll share with you a little bit of a close-up here what happened with the sprinkles can you see kind of melted a little bit but it almost makes it look more realistic however i highly recommend just using beads if you can or foam you can cut out little pieces of foam and then just top them up on top but yeah i love it i think it looks so realistic and i know my boy is gonna grab it thinking it's a real it's real whipped cream so until next time everyone i hope you enjoyed the process thank you so much for watching bye for now